how's it going? I hope you're all really well. Seeing as it's been a while since we kind of spoke, like chilled face to face, since my last video, which I think was like three months ago now, I kind of wanted to do like another update video because I really enjoyed filming that video. I just felt like it was me and you sat in a room having a chill and like a really good catch up. So I'm back again with my coffee. Alex just made this for me. It's a shot of espresso, a vanilla and espresso, topped up with soy milk, with an ice cube and one teaspoon of agave syrup. Really enjoying it. Nice like iced coffee for the morning. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed that last video because it was nice as chatting and it was nice to kind of get a lot of things off my chest. And I kind of wanted to do a bit of an update of that and things that I mentioned in that video and what's going on now because I felt like it'd been quite a bit of time. So yes, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing here, just chatting. Just chatting for a little bit. I feel I really should have made notes of what to say. Okay, first thing to mention. From the last video, I was talking about the fact that I would love to get engaged this year. And I'm guessing that a few people kind of watched a bit of the video, didn't watch all of it. And therefore, from me talking about the fact that it would be nice for Alex to propose at some point, a few people thought we'd actually got engaged. So I've had people come up to me and be like, oh my God, congratulations. And I'm like, on what? I don't really know what I've done. I think a couple of brands also sent me some lovely gifts, like really lovely gifts, but to say congratulations on your engagement. And I was like, I haven't got engaged yet. So it's almost like an anticlimax for the time when it might happen. But I just thought it was quite funny. So just so you know, we're not engaged yet. I'd like to be engaged at some point this year or early next year. Who knows? It's more that I was mentioning the fact that I feel ready now to be proposed to. Whereas last year I was kind of like, nah, I don't really want to get married. And I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of marriage anyway, but I've got to the point now where I'm like, yep, yeah, I could let it happen. So that's, that's the deal with that. Also another thing I kind of mentioned in my last video that a lot of you guys commented on was that I was mentioning that I was kind of trying a plant-based diet out. I just wanted to try it, but more for kind of dietary reasons to see if it would help with my kind of bloating issues. I know there's a lot of ladies out there and guys who get really bad bloating from certain types of food and I kind of wanted to cut out some things to see what it may have been. Turns out it is milk. Milk really, really bloats me, so I've been cutting that out big time. I don't really touch any other dairy. Cheese, I've been holding off as much as physically possible like and that is a big deal for me i'm a big big fan of cheese and if you've seen alex's vlog that he's coming out with or it may not be out yet or it may be if it is out i'll stick it on the screen here if not it'll be out soon and there's, there's a moment where he was recording me looking at a cheese board that was in front of me i didn't realize he was recording it's completely genuine and i'm just having this breakdown <laughs> over the fact that i can't eat these cheese but i know it makes me feel awful and totally rubbish i'll be completely honest there's been the odd time where i've had like a pasta dish and it's been mainly spinach with a tiny bit of cheese that's been okay and it's because i've been away somewhere in italy and I'm like, do you know what? I want to live my life. I want to enjoy my life today. I want to have a little bit of ricotta in my pasta. But generally, I've been cutting it out and feeling really, really good for it. So I need to carry on with that. Um, I've also now started having fish again because I miss fish. I really, really love fish. So I've been having some fish. But in terms of meat, that's just a no. It's I don't think I'm ever going to go back to meat ever again. It's been like over a year and a half now without meat and I really like it. So that's just the way it is for me. Um, Everyone's diet is different, but just so you know, in case you ever see me out and about and I'm eating a piece of fish and you're like, I thought she wasn't eating fish, just so you know, that's that's what's going on there. I mean, it's April now and I feel like this whole year so far, four months, has been a complete and utter blur. Like, it feels like last year I'd done so much by this time last year. I kind of don't feel like I've done anything, but then thinking about it, I had, I feel like February was just a blur with the entirety of Fashion Week, like New York, London, Milan, Paris. That was just such a mind poop. Like it was just so much work and a lot of different places to see and a lot of people to meet and I feel like my mind just shot off that month. It's just a bit like woo, total blur. So I'm not too sure what kind of happened there but I know it was really amazing. I saw some incredible shows and I mean I went to the Dior show and it was just dreamy. It was a real like career highlight thing and it was an amazing month but I just feel like that was a blur. And then January I did a few things and I went over to Lake Tahoe skiing which was insane. But yeah I didn't know. just feel like I've not done that much yet. I feel like I kind of, I'm still waiting to get into a big reel of different things going on. Like tomorrow I'm going, you know, in a few days I'm going to Tuscany with Alex on like a spa break to take loads of amazing pictures hopefully. So hopefully you've seen them on Instagram. If not, I'll leave my Instagram somewhere link so you can go have a peek. So that's exciting. I've got a few other trips coming up. We're going to Cuba with Carly and Leon and Virgin Holidays. I'm going to Paris with a few friends 
for a birthday. I'm going to Cannes Film Festival with L'Oreal. So there's a few things kind of coming up which are going to be really cool and I cannot wait. So yeah, hold out for those. I can't wait to share that with you guys too. Ooh. Other big news I'm pretty excited about is that I'm getting my braces off soon. I feel like recently my lisp has got worse. Don't know why that is. If it's because my teeth have finally moved into where they're going to be staying now. I'm not sure but I do feel like my lisp lisp is a little bit worse than it was. My S's are so annoying. But I should hopefully, hopefully I'm nearly at the end of my treatment now. Really, really, really happy with the results. I mean, the amount of my friends now that say, I don't remember what your teeth were like before. I'm sure they were fine before, so I don't really see a big difference. But it's like, if you go back to like my videos pre-January 2016. So if you go back to like December 2015, the change in my teeth is massive, like totally massive. Like my front teeth were kind of skew with and one was longer than the other. And the bottom teeth were kind of a little bit out of sync. And literally like my entire top row has been moved round and put on level. I'm so happy with it. I've been seeing this incredible dentist, well orthodontist called Asif Chatu, and he's wonderful and he's most calm, chilled out guy. He's really really lovely and he's just so, he's such an expert in what he does. And he um, put on a set of lingual braces for me. So if you've not been here before and I've spoken about this before, but yeah it's like train tracks that you get on the front of your teeth but it's on the back. Um, just It's just for aesthetic reasons because I didn't want them on the front again. I went through four years of having them on the front of my teeth back when I was younger. I didn't wear my retainers, wear your retainers people, and um, yeah my teeth went back out of shape again. So they've been on the back of my teeth. Um, and it's been amazing. I'm so happy with the transformation. I can't recommend it anymore. I'll leave his details down below. He's at the London Lingual Orthodontic Clinic. It's on Wimpole Street, just off, it's right near Harley Street in London. And honestly I can't recommend it more. If you're looking for something for your teeth, and you really want to try something new then honestly give it a go. It's completely different to Invisalign. So many people say have you got Invisalign? It's completely different. It's not like that at all. They're completely static in my mouth. They don't come out. They are fastened onto my teeth like full, it's like full on train tracks but on the back of my teeth. And I'll be doing probably a video at the end when they're all done to show you before and afters and to tell you more about the process because it's honestly been like a bit of a life changer for me. I am, I'm just so so happy. I feel like I can smile properly again. I was really unconfident around the time when I finally went through with getting them done so yeah really really happy yeah so that's just a big change in my life at the moment and generally I'm really really happy I think the only thing that's getting me down at the moment is that I don't feel I have enough time to blog as much as I like to so if you didn't know first and foremost I am a fashion blogger that's kind of how I st well actually I started as a beauty blogger and then became more of a fashion blogger but my blog is like my thing and I love it so much so if you're not seeing it it's just in the fro.com and yeah, recently I feel like I've not been getting as much content out there for you guys, so I'm going to try working on that again, getting a bit more out there. Um, recently I've missed a few videos as well because I've been toying with just doing maybe one video a week. That's something I'm going to try, Instagram Live. I'm going to do one today I think after I've done this. Just to try, kind of try it out. I've not tried it yet. I need to do it. I need to do it. So I'm going to do that. I feel like more people now know what they like to watch, so they watch less different types of videos and more of the same kind of video. Because it's the same for me. I'm not watching as much YouTube as I did and I, I'm still someone who watches a lot of YouTube like I whenever I'm doing my makeup if I'm taking off my makeup if I'm cooking if I am tidying if I'm in bed in the morning or at night I will watch YouTube videos just to kind of like chill but even I am kind of being less interested in the things that I'm seeing in my subs boxes I don't know why it's just I kind of feel like everyone's in that kind of place though so and again I'd love your advice on this like what do you like to me to do what would you like me to do more of what do you like to see the most and what could I maybe do different I'd love to hear your advice on it again that'd be great but when it comes to the blog I love that the blog is kind of like my own space there's no one else kind of in that space and I can kind of write about anything I'm thinking and feeling that day and that's what I really really like about it so I'm just going to continue with that and try and see where I get to with that so yeah have a peek at the blog if you've not seen it before and that would be amazing I've done a couple of meet and greets recently to say hey to you guys because I love that kind of one-on-one -on -one interaction I am doing sex Oh my god, I was about to say sex in the city every time. Summer in the city, I'm gonna be doing summer in the city this year, not sex in the city. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, summer in the city, I'm gonna be doing this year, so I'll be there. I'm not doing VidCon, summer in the city I will be at, so if you'd like to maybe meet me, then potentially have a look at getting tickets for that. But I've met quite a few of you recently at different events, and that's been amazing. Honestly, I love seeing you guys and chatting with you, and I just totally love it. I could chat all day with you guys, so that's been really, really good fun. And I can't wait to get my roots done. I'm so offended by these right now. I'm so sorry if you're also offended by these roots. 
boots. I'm getting them done really soon, I can't wait. Uh, I'm just gonna kinda cut it off there or else I'll just be going on all day. But just yeah, a little update from me to say hello. Just have more of a one-on-one -on -one time with you guys, update you on a few little things that I've been thinking about and that's it. So let me know down below what you thought. If you are brand new here though, it would be amazing if you subscribed. I'd love to have you back. I usually do more fashion videos and beauty videos than this chatty kind of stuff, but I don't know. I just want to make sure that I'm touching base with you guys a bit more because it can be a little bit cut off when I'm doing like ASOS hauls and beauty videos. If you're new here, please do hit the subscribe button. It'd be amazing to have you back. Thank you so much guys for sticking around and being here. Honestly, it means the world to have so many incredible, like loyal followers and an audience. And yeah, it's amazing that every week you come back and say, hey, so thank you so much. Honestly, it means the world. And I guess I'll see you soon guys. Bye.